Hello cookbook friends, this is Carrie with Cookbook Divas, and I cannot wait for autumn. It's almost here. I'm sick of this hot, sweaty summer, Ugh. and I love making soup. I will be making soup all fall, all winter, and even spring. I can't wait to get out my crock pot, my instant pot, my Dutch oven, my regular old pans, and just make a bunch of soup. So, to that effect, I went to my local library, as I do several times a week, grabbed a cookbook called Soupology, How to Make Soup from Six Simple Broths. The author is Drew Smith, the publisher is Rizzoli, and I have not peeked in here yet. I was waiting to look through it with you. Let's get started. What year did this come out? Um, it came out 2020. It's new. Okay, our chapters are the basics, vegetables, chicken and other birds, meat, fish and shellfish, kombu, and that's it. Okay, so far, so good. Gorgeous food photography. The heart of the kitchen. This must be our author. So, is soup good for you? I'm going to say yes. Cooking techniques. Okay, the basics. I definitely need to get off camera and read this. Getting started. Now I'm hungry for soup. I always, always, always have five or six onions in the house ready to go for when I make soup. I always have celery and I always have carrots. Buying the ingredients, equipment, a note on quantities, garnishes. I have an herb garden right outside my kitchen door where I can grab herbs to put in soup. Of course, the mint is what grew the fastest. Now we're in the vegetables chapter. Vegetable tea. I didn't know that was a thing. I would drink that. <gasps> beautiful, beautiful photographs. I think we're making stock. Oh, chunky vegetable broth. Gorgeous photos. Cream of green vegetable soup. Now I can't show you the whole cookbook. Hot and sour soup, roast tomato soup. Mm. How good does that look? I need to start skipping. Ugh. Carrot rice and new potato soup. Potassium broth? What? Wow. Some more beautiful pictures. I love this book. Parsnip and mustard soup with sesame seeds? That's inventive. And I've looked through a lot of soup cookbooks in my life, believe me. Spinach and nutmeg espresso. Kale vichyssoise. I don't like kale, so I wouldn't make this, but if someone made it for me, I'd eat it, to be polite. Wild garlic, mint, and zucchini soup. Way to use up. All the stuff that grows way too fast in your garden. Not that I'm complaining, but I have way too much mint, and I'm sure we all have way too much zucchini. Cream of corn soup. Okay, I gotta get to a different chapter. I can't just sit here showing you the entire book. That's rude. Chickpea soup. Ugh, coconut soup. Okay, here's the chicken chapter. I'm a vegetarian, so I won't be making any of this, but you can. Poached chicken broth. Gorgeous pictures. Chicken noodle soup, of course. You can't have a soup cookbook and not have a recipe for that. Uh, cream of chicken and mushroom soup. Quick Tom Yum. Cockaliki. Roast partridge soup with chestnuts. Very Thanksgiving-esque. Chapter 4. We're already in the meat section. Basic beef bone broth. Picture, picture. How about English garden soup? Or fast beet consomme proper borscht. Wow. Small kitchen beef and tomato soup. That's nice. Bean and barley soup. I would make mine vegetarian with veggie broth, but anyway. Bean soup. Old-fashioned split pea soup. I have to make this for my boyfriend. Okay. Mm, Revolita? I don't know anything about that. What is that? We're getting down to the end of the book. Oh no! Already? Fish and shellfish. Lobster or shrimp broth. Fish chowder, mm-hmm, yum. Of course, dap dap chowder. Cullen skink mussel soup. Oh, that must be them. Dalston bouillabaisse, no idea what a Dalston is. Thai style crab and lemongrass soup, no picture, oyster soup. Monkfish with ginger soup, etc., etc. You get the drift. Wow, that was phenomenal. The pictures blow me away. Lots of recipes I want to try. Can't wait to get in my kitchen. It's still hot today, so I will not be turning on any stoves or ovens. <sighs> Thank you for watching. If you'd like to see more of our cookbook look-throughs and reviews, you can find cookbookdivas.com. 
our blog. We have a podcast. We post videos to Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and occasionally to Pinterest. Please be sure to click like if you like something that we post so that the algorithm will show it to you our posts more often. <laughs> Bye.